I stole her earrings when she was in sixth grade. <gasps> that was you? I couldn't keep them though. I gave them to my cousin. What's oh. something you've done? She doesn't know about. I f***ed your boyfriend two years ago. Is that why you guys broke up? Why? I'm sorry, can you go away please? DoorDash delivery man fired after cursing out woman over 25% tip. Nice house for $5. It started as a normal pizza delivery. The delivery guy hands over the pizza, but he's clearly not happy with his tip, and he has some strong words for the homeowner. I just want to say, it's a nice house for a $5 tip. You're welcome. F you. That was rude. The total cost of her order of breadsticks and a medium pizza, $22.78. So the $5 she gave the DoorDash delivery guy comes out to a 22% tip. Yep, that was the video, everyone. This man who works for DoorDash didn't know how to do percentages and thought that he was being scammed out of a tip when in reality, he was being over tipped. And to be honest, for as hilarious as this situation is, it's a real shame that this guy got fired. He lost the one job that he could actually do. I mean, if you can't do basic percentages, I don't know what other work you're capable of doing. I am 100% certain that everyone watching this video right now did not believe that that submarine was piloted with a Logitech wireless gamepad that works with all devices. I'm telling you for certain that you didn't believe that. I didn't believe that either, but hey, it's the truth. Maybe reality is stranger than fiction. Do you understand how upset I would be if I spent $250,000? on a exclusive trip to see the Titanic and saw this man seriously piloting this tuna can that I'm in with a Best Buy discount universal controller. I promise you in that moment, I would have a heart attack and or stroke, maybe both at the same time, because who in their right mind would put up with something like that? I would die on the spot. You ever watch a rich person's expression change when you ask a question that's too poor? Yeah, for sure. I once bragged to a coworker that I got my outfit from thrifting and my boss took me aside and said not to say I shop at thrift stores because it made him look bad like he didn't pay me enough. Reader, he didn't pay me enough. Pro tip, ask for cucumbers instead of chips at the Mexican restaurant. Most are happy to accommodate. Most? No, I doubt that. Most people don't want to accommodate something like that. That's additional trouble. That's additional work. Are you serious? You didn't want to have chips? Then why did you get the salsa at the Mexican restaurant? Why did you even go? And it really boggles my mind that you genuinely believe that most people are happy to accommodate your, I don't know, substitution? Because if you take a look at your cucumbers, they were not cut evenly. They were cut with haste and a whole lot of anger. Whoever was in the kitchen that day despised you. They absolutely hated the fact that you asked for such a ridiculous accommodation. I found out today that my three-year-old son yelled, we in here, during an active shooter drill in school today. I beg your pardon, there's active school shooter drills? For preschool? I don't even know how that can be remotely successful. How can you encourage three-year-olds to behave in a way that's remotely serious? I remember doing shooting drills in high school and making jokes about it. So basically what I'm trying to say is that your three-year-old is healthy. He's behaving like a three-year-old. I finally found some credible evidence found in the wilderness. Breaking news, Goliath from the Old Testament in the Bible is found outside of Rome. The theory of evolution was wrong. This is very funny because all else aside, if it was Goliath, the forehead would be smashed in. Like, that is the one thing we know about Goliath. Question four, my baby daddy got promoted, so I appealed for more child support. He ordered a DNA test. My son failed. He put the results in my mailbox. I forgave myself for cheating, but he's being petty. He's been my son's dad for eight years. Why ghost my child now? How do I fix it? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you forgave yourself? I'm so happy for you, congratulations. I wonder how your husband feels. Oh, I'm sorry, your baby daddy, rather. I wonder how your partner feels about you cheating on them and then having them raise a child that wasn't theirs. Yeah, I'm glad that you forgave yourself. I wonder if he forgives you, good grief. He's being petty, he's being petty for leaving. I wonder what else is petty. I, I wonder if cheating counts as petty. Oh my God. Yo, I want you guys to meet my two new children, Delilah and Rome Madison. Why the f he got his shirt off? <laughs> skin to skin, mate. It's vital for bonding straight from birth. Did it with both of mine. Sounds gay, f that. Sounds gay. All right, let's put that on the list of things that are gay. Caring about your children, trying to bond with your newborn babies is gay, apparently. I have a date with this guy this weekend and he asked me what my budget was so he could pick a nice restaurant for us. Budget? Am, am I paying for my meal? Yeah, it's the first date. 
I don't know if you're here for a free meal or if you're actually trying to date me, so the best thing for both of us to do is to pay for what we want to eat. And it truly bugs me that there's some people out there who will call somebody else broke if they expect them to pay for their part of the meal. Like, you're asking for a free meal. If anyone's broke here, it's you. Boxer Daniela Hemsley has been banned from final after she lifted up her top in celebration. Now, there's a lot of contentious thought here. A lot of people think that it's sexist because men literally box without shirts on, but when a woman flashes her titties, she gets banned from competing altogether and probably won't appear on television for a little bit. Here's the thing though, I promise you, most viewers were not offended by anything that they saw that night. But I can tell you who did dislike seeing that, the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, and she absolutely was banned because whoever was broadcasting that fight live just received a really, really big fine. Trust me, normal people did not protest to have her banned from her next fight. It was just a bunch of fogies who happened to be in politics keeping her out of that ring. <laughs> Florida baby dies after teen mom adds fentanyl to bottle, thinking it was cocaine. Oh, so she wasn't confused at all. She was just trying to kill her baby. Just not with fentanyl, but with cocaine. Florida, everybody, the best state on the planet. I have never been disappointed by a single news article that's come out of that state. Everything that I learn about Florida is something that I've learned, you know, against my will. I have no idea what the f*** is going on down there. I don't know what's happening, I don't know what they put in the water, but there seems to be craziness every other day coming from that really, really humid state. Can somebody at Logan please explain to me why they think it's a good idea to have children flying in replicas of Natsok aircraft at an amusement park in the year 2023? I truly would love to know because yikes. Mm, okay, so in the past three days, I've been reading a lot of articles about a potential paper being published in Science, I believe, that's about a room temperature superconductor. There's a lot of skepticism about this because there's been a lot of claims from a lot of other people who have supposedly created a room temperature superconductor. The closest thing to room temperature that we have uh, approached is the YBCO superconductor, the one that can be chilled with liquid nitrogen. I'm excited about this because that compound can be used, if it is truly room temperature, it can be used to replace a whole lot of things that can't operate at high temperatures, like CPUs, power cables, uh, magnetic coils I can keep going it would completely revolutionize computer technology and I'm excited about it it really makes me wonder how people felt about CPUs just getting better and better and better during the 70s 80s and 90s thinking that maybe one day they would be able to put a computer in their pocket and that day actually came like we have cell phones that are connected to the internet that gives you nearly infinite amounts of information so it really baffles me it boggles my <laughs> mind that this person couldn't pull out their phone and search on Google what plane they were looking at because if they did, they would find out that this is the Red Baron's plane and that planes like this were never flown during World War II. I'm getting very upset. I'm so, I'm so upset that people go out of their way to be dumb when you have internet in your hands. You have all of human knowledge in your f***ing palm. Kevin Costner ups child support offer to X to $52,000 a month, but she says she still needs six figures monthly to raise their children. Six figures monthly i wonder how much of that is going to the kid because seriously i would love to see the bill breakdown i would love to see how that money's being spent is your kid being sent to i don't know hogwarts where are you sending your child what are you what are you spending this money on look maybe i'm just too poor brain maybe i'm just too peasant brain to understand that maybe children cost a hundred thousand dollars a month to raise i'm just confused because if i had to give myself a estimate of how much i cost my parents money from zero to 18 years old i maybe cost my parents barely half of the amount of money this woman's asking for maybe and that's a liberal estimate driving through these streets was very heartbreaking i could not stop crying i didn't even make it through no hate to this creator but like the stuff that influencers from other countries choose to do in LA is absolutely hilarious to me. Like uh, they rented a Tesla and then they just decided let's drive through Skid Row, the most like impoverished area in all of LA, cry at the homeless people while we go to look at the Cecil Hotel, which is that murder hotel where the girl ended up in that water tank on the roof. And then how are we gonna wash that down? Oh, let's go to Erewhon and buy these juices at Erewhon that cost like $20 each. 
like Erewhon is a, a grocery store that's kind of exclusively for millionaires, but it's recently on TikTok become like an aesthetic thing to shop there. But they're always like, I can't believe it. These salads cost $30. Yeah, that, no one goes to that place for real. And they just went and looked at the Hollywood sign and got covered in dirt. And that was their day in LA. Woman who proposed to boyfriend trolled online. You have no self-respect. A woman was excited to share her proposal video on TikTok until online haters tore her apart. Wow, you have no self-respect. That's how you feel when your partner ultimately tries to propose to you? Is that how you feel when your boyfriend gets on one knee? That you're better than him? That you're greater than him? That, that he literally doesn't deserve you so he has to get on one knee and propose with a million dollar rock to get you to stay with him for the rest of his life? Is that how you really feel about proposal? then you have no business being married to anyone. I can promise you that 99% of those comments were lonely, touchless, loveless women. Women who believe that they're the prize, but for whatever reason, nobody's trying to win them. And when they saw this woman going out of her way to show her love and devotion to her boyfriend, they were peeved by that. And instead of being honest about the reason why they were upset, you know, the fact that nobody in their right mind would pick them, they would go out of their way to demean and diminish this woman, all because she had the audacity to show love to her boyfriend. Jesus Christ. TikTok boat jumping challenge that sees people jump off vessels moving at high speed is blamed for four deaths in Alabama, as cops says victims broke their necks instantly. You're a fucking idiot. This needs to stop. Now! 2,000 miles isn't that much, honestly. I could drive that much in a day. If you drove a steady 75 miles per hour without ever slowing down or stopping, it would take you over 26 hours to drive 2,000 miles, more than a day. Well, assuming you're correct, then let's suppose that I didn't sleep to have more time in a day. Then I could probably make it. What are your sources for your data? My source is that 2,000 divided by 75 is 26 hours. It's called math. You should try it sometime. Well, I'm not sure if I agree, but okay. You don't agree, <laughs> okay. I never knew that that was a reasonable answer to a mathematic, you know, debate and or question. You just don't agree? I wonder what else you don't agree with. Do you agree that two plus two equals four or in your perspective, you think it's 22? Feel free to <laughs> make your argument. Like the fuck? I am Jose and I'm getting a tattoo voluntarily on January 2nd, 2019 so that I can earn my wife's trust back for the pain and suffering I have caused in our marriage. I am a liar, cheater, manipulator, deceiver. <laughs> How do you, she really, she really made you put that on your stomach, bro. <laughs> right over your name, Jose. Oh my God. Oh my God. I wonder how long she stayed with you, bro. I wonder what agreement you struck with her. Did she guarantee another five years in the relationship after you got this tattoo? Because if I was her, not only would I make you get the tattoo, but I would stick with you for about a year and then leave. Hope that you have enough money to get that shit removed, bro, because that's going to be on you forever. Oh my god. The Witcher producer says painful simplification of the book story is necessary for wider audiences. Just admit that you don't know how to write a story. Could you give us that much? Could you be honest with us for a second? The Witcher, both the books and the video games, were perfect source material for a television adaptation. It was a license to print money, all right? That was the closest thing to a, I don't know, narrative layup that you could get, man. The work was already done. The fan base was already built. You could have just followed the source material and made money and went home. It was that easy, but no, 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 no. You had to put your own personal spin on it. You had to put your own personal politics in it. And what did you do? You lost Henry Cavill. You lost him in two seasons. Technically, yes, he's in the third season because he had a contract, but you lost him in season two. You lost the one guy who actually portrayed the Witcher like he was supposed to be portrayed. All of the other characters just were not portrayed properly and you know that you know that intimately so what did you do you went out of your way to say that your audiences were stupid that they were too stupid to understand the source material that they had become fans of i mean come on you see similar articles saying the same thing that oh american audiences can't handle high fantasy what do you mean for the majority of my middle school years what did the american public enjoy watching game of thrones we're not going to talk about the last few seasons but yes the first four seasons were spectacular and had tons of world building, had tons of spectacular, well-written narrative, fantasy narrative. And you 
really think that audiences are too dumb to enjoy The Witcher? Good grief. Maybe you're just too dumb to be in the writer's room. How about that? As a bartender, I had this guy come in. He was slurring words, unbalanced, head was rolling. I explained to him that I couldn't serve him. He nodded and walked off. And then he came back with his carer, who told me that he had a neurological condition and was dead sober and would like to have his beer, please. Ooh, ooh, I hope you kept your job, bro. Millennial dads have pathetic DIY skills compared to baby boomers. Wow, you saw a trend like that too? That's so crazy, because I did a study of my own. Did you know that baby boomers have pathetic blacksmithing skills compared to 9th century Saxons? So, I got dumped over my new piercing, guys. I really don't like your piercing. Okay, I don't know what to tell you. Good night. Good night? I think I'm done with this. If that's your final answer, then okay. Yeah, that shit made me find you so unattractive. Alright. I'm gonna block your number. Don't bother messaging me back. Okay? I took you off all of my socials. Okay? You know, legend has it, this man continued to tell her how much he wasn't gonna message her and how much he was gonna cut her out of her life forever. But in all seriousness, this is lame behavior, bro. She gets it. You don't wanna be with her anymore. But I guess she's just not responding the way that he wants her to. This woman gives me the vibe that she's pretty chill and pretty nonchalant and knows for a fact that this dude is just fishing for a reaction. Fishing for some, oh my gosh, baby, please take me back. I'll, I'll take out the piercing. Yeah, don't give it to him. Just keep answering okay. Just keep the thread going. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam, what you doing watching videos and not subscribing, and if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. Go ahead and check out the community tab, because there's another content poll for next week, so if you want to put in your two cents, if you want to have control over the future, go ahead and take a look at that poll and vote on the video that you want to see. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible a big thank you to toasty comfy ghosty ironic pfp mike my zoom dams pool sleepy dragon ducky aiden loves aileris power lover sherry morrison tron destroy 23 fitz chivalry din corda co connor purvis s16 swish rare days mr bean my golden experience james tucker bmx 30 cinnamon sticks scott the fake musician buckethead samantha bellhart zach f Bloody Hunter, Dunder Nass Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.